Well, here we are yet again. Perhaps this is the last What Happens Next that we're going to do for a little while. We're going to have some tea together. Um, but to make it English, I thought I'd wear my bowler hat. Bowler hats are quite interesting. Um, the bowler hat actually was invented, if that's the right word, to supersede the top hat. And why? Because the top hat would keep falling off because it's much more unstable, much less stable, because the center of mass is higher, so it could be easily knocked off, whereas an ordinary bowler hat is, stays on better. And if you're really working class, you could have a cap to wear, which stays on even when you're working hard. But we're going to have a cup of tea at the end of the day. So here we go, and the question is, which will be the best cup of tea if I want to drink it fairly quickly? So in this cup, I'm going to put the milk. And I'll pour my tea. But in this cup, I'll put the tea in first. And I want to drink it fairly quickly, so which cup will cool down fastest. This one with no milk in to start with and then I put the milk in just before I drink or this one. So we'll wait a little bit to see what happens. Another question, two teapots. If I pour my kettle hot water into each one, which teapot will have the coolest tea in it at the beginning? This china one or this metal one? and which will cool down fastest? Lots of different questions. These days we make our tea with tea bags and often pour hot water into the cup straight away. Um, that's not such a good idea with the best china. I wonder why. And they say that if you put a spoon in the cup before you pour the water, it will be safer. So that's another Another question. Lots of questions to do with your tea and with cooling. So what about these two? Which of these two will be the coolest? This one that I put the milk in first, or this one that I put the milk in second? And of course, they will taste slightly different because of what happens to the milk. So there's your question. Hope you get the answer while I enjoy a nice cup of tea. Cheers. Well, here we are with the answers. Uh, oops, I better not leave that hat on. Just, uh, so which one was the coolest? Let me try. Hmm, much cooler. So why was the milk in second cooler? Answer, because the hotter the tea at the beginning, with the milk cooled slower. So this one ends up being colder than this one. Two teapots. The china teapot takes a lot of heat. It's got a, high, a higher specific heat. So it takes a lot of heat when you put the water in. That's why often when you start making tea in a china pot, you should warm the pot first, swish it around, get the, get the pot warm, chuck it out and then put your, put your tea bag in. Of course in olden times <coughs> or even today for the best tea you use tea leaves. Now why are tea, why do you need to leave the tea leaves in the pot more before you have your cup of tea? That's another question. For There's lots of questions to do with cups of tea. I hope you can think of some for yourself. What about a tea cosy, the woolly covering that you put on a teapot. What does that do? Well, I hope you've enjoyed all these What Happens Next and I hope you can enjoy a nice cup of tea as you go about your business, whatever it is today.